Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. And I still haven't named this show yet because I just finished recording episode one. So the first couple episodes, probably no name for this, uh, but I will figure it out. Or if you have some suggestions that you want me to name the show, let me know down in the comments. Um, so we're going to try to do 100 Silent Hill episodes, kind of like we did with Resident Evil. Uh, that was a show I've always wanted to do a Resident Evil show. And I just every time I get like three or four episodes in, I never finished. So I was really happy that we got through 100 episodes of that. And now that I'm kind of burnt out on Resident Evil and I've liked nothing outside the games for the past few years, uh, I'm kind of ready to walk away a lot from Resident Evil. And I'm and Resident Evil 4 Remake doesn't super excite me. It looks cool and I'm definitely going to play it because I'm a Resident Evil fan. Um, but, uh, you know, that's where the franchise started to kind of lose me a little bit originally. And then 7 brought me back in. So, uh, so yeah, so we're going to depart from, from Raccoon City and, and Resident Evil and we're coming into Silent Hill now because we just got an announcement that we're getting four new games over the next couple years and also a movie. So each episode, we're going to talk about those games. So the last episode, we talked about Silent Hill 2 remake and a little bit of just in general what was said at the transmission. So if you want to check that episode out, it's the previous one. I'll put a link to it down below. But today we're going to talk about Townfall, which is a new Silent Hill game that's coming out by No Code and Annapurna. Uh, interactive and i actually like the annapurna games some of the ones i've played um and then no code i i'm kind of new to them but they're a glasgow based studio and i think they've done uh, the games that are listed here are observation and stories untold which i've never played but i hear they were very uh inspired by you know silent hill stuff like a lot of they were saying in their interview like a lot of the games they've made horror games are because of silent hill and they've always wanted to be part of silent hill and they're so happy to like work on something with Silent Hill. So all they could show us right now was a teaser, which uh, kind of had like the ocean moving in and stuff like that. And you had people talking. Um, so in this one, it sounds like like someone is narrating and saying, hey, you know, looks like we've all been brought here for a reason. Uh, and it and, you know, so something we've done or some some kind of something connected to our past and we've all been brought here. And we're trying to make it right or you know something along those lines i'm paraphrasing uh because i can't fully remember everything that happened in it it was very brief i watched it like two times so it's not sticking in my head that well but the, the gist of it was basically something like that and then they're talking to like a person he's like yeah but you you're different um i think you you know why you're here like some of us maybe don't know why we're here and you do know and it, it's probably not a good thing or like i don't want to be around when you when you realize you're, you know, what you're here for or something. Uh, Cause it, you know, so I don't know, it, it sounds very much like a Silent Hill 2 type where you have multiple characters brought to Silent Hill for a reason, something from their past or whatever. Um, I think I could get into something like that. If you get to play maybe as multiple characters, uh, that would be cool. Cause then that would separate it from Silent Hill 2. If you just go, okay, here's a similar story, but the gameplay is different. You're going to, you know, imagine Silent Hill 2 if, you, if you're if you playing as James, but then you can go and play as, you know, Eddie for a little while. Um, it, it's like, it would just change kind of the dynamic of certain things, and it would probably connect you to some of the characters more in a way too. So I don't know if that's what Townfall is. Um, right now they just had that little disturbing clip, and uh, and that's all it said. <laughs> uh, I love it. There was this one uh, website I went to where they said, this sounds like the most traditional of all of the Silent Hill games that are coming out. And I'm like, how do we, how do you know that? <laughs> like, you have no idea. We saw like a little teaser and then you had this voiceover where a guy is saying like, you know, I don't want to be near you when you figure out why you're here. It's like, what does that mean? I mean, that's, yeah, that doesn't sound like traditional Silent Hill to me. It doesn't sound like someone who's missing their kid or, you know, or involved in a cult or anything like that. Um, but who knows? Maybe Townfall could be, uh, you know, a story uh, that has cult like elements in it. I don't know. That'd be cool. I'd be cool to see a nod to that because I know they're going to go in the full psychological direction because the transmission pretty much was like, hey, Silent Hill 2 is the greatest game of all time, which it's like, hey, it's up there. It's it's a fantastic game. It's certainly one of the best Silent Hill games, in my opinion. But is there's still cult lore, in, you know, in three of the actually in in four in home uh, in uh, the room they talk about the cult also with uh, Joseph Schreiber, the 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 investigative journalist who was uh, originally lived in the room, and then and then Henry Townsend is the guy who you play as who lives there now. Um, so that would that would be cool if they they still talk about the cult or tie it in some way because like I said, Silent Hill one, three, four, and Homecoming had some version of the cult or mention of the cult in them. So it's that's a lot of the games out of the franchise. It's like over half. And I think even Silent Hill Origins has a little with the cult in it. So 
yeah, that's like, you know, half the franchise, more than half the franchise already. So, um, so I hope they don't ignore that on one of these games. I would love them to at least acknowledge, um, you know, that either the cult existed or that maybe some, one of the characters is from the cult, but the cult is disbanded or gone or all dead or, you know, whatever. And, and they're, this one person is just trying to just get by now, but this, because they've sacrificed people and because they've burned Alyssa or because they have a dark past now, they're brought to Silent Hill and they have to pay for their sins or something. Um, who knows? I don't know. It would, it would be cool to see any of that, I guess. But um, but Townsfall just sounds like, hopefully, it's a, it's a collective of people um, and collective of characters. And, and maybe you're not just playing as one character, but maybe you get the option to play as a couple. And I, I think that would add a new element to Silent Hill for sure. I mean, I would love to see a, a Silent Hill game that's like an anthology where it's, uh, you know, maybe they release episodes and every episode is you play as a different character. But then by the time you get to episode six, you realize they're they're all in the town at the same time and you start meeting each other. And then maybe by the time it ends with episode eight or something, because uh, that would be cool. You just like, hey, guys, we're going to release two episodes a year or three episodes a year for the next three years. We're going to do nine episodes or something um, or six episodes. And you just you every six months you put one out, you charge like, you know, 20 bucks for it, or 10 bucks for it, um, depending on how long they are and, and what's involved. And it's just an anthology and you're playing different characters, but then they all kind of tie together. That would be a new experience for Silent Hill. So so I think like, yeah, the stories can be repetitive. Silent Hill 2, like I said, in the transmission, they made it very clear. We love Silent Hill 2. We're remaking that one. We're not remaking Silent Hill 1. We're going to make a new movie that's essentially a translation of Silent Hill 2. And then we have all these games that everyone's talking about, the psychological horror element of of Silent Hill 2 and, and how the demons, you know, come from your manifestation based on what the town is doing to you or whatever and, and how it, you know, how you're connecting to the town. So it's like, okay, so you guys are all doing that. Fine. Unfortunately, that's what you guys tried to do before and it was a hot mess. But if you make the gameplay interesting uh, and not, you know, not like Silent Hill, I think they had a dungeon crawler one where it was multiple characters. That was terrible. So I don't want Townfall to be like that. I want Townfall to play like a Silent Hill game, like two or the two remake even with over the shoulder and stuff. That's fine. But just playing multiple stories would be cool. So I feel like hopefully Townfall is something like that. But I won't be mad if they say, no, we just have one character. You're playing as one character. It's like, that's fine if you're going to do that too. But just, but add something, you know, don't just remake Silent Hill 2 like, the people who made Homecoming try to do and Downpour try to do and Origins try to do, which I think was all one of the same guy uh, for the most part. They just kept trying to retell that story. It was like two or three guys just kept regurgitating the the thing and they kept, they kept adding in like a, a red pyramid type monster in each game to punish the main character. And you're just like, guys, don't make it that similar. <laughs> you know, try, try some new things with the concept. And I think if they would have, it would have you know, gone over better with fans. So hopefully that's what they're doing here. Hopefully they're not just regurgitating what's been, you know, there. Hopefully they just take the base of it and build something new on top of it. So Townfall, I mean, I literally don't have anything else to say about it because we got almost no information besides that little video. Um, and then a little clip of the guys who are working on it, the people who are working on it, what they said, you know, people at Annapurna and, and people at No Code, um, and, but they still were pretty vague. And they said, we'll probably get more information about the game in the new year at some point. So nothing for now, but as, as more details come out of this game, I will definitely bring them to you for sure. So for now, based on what little we know, uh, what's your speculation, I should say, about Townfall? Because we can't really have a discussion about what it is because we don't really know what it is. So based on that you heard my speculation, what's yours? Let me know down in the comments below. And as always, we'll continue the conversation down there. And the next episode, we're gonna talk about um, Ascension. Again, it'll probably be another brief video because we got pretty much no information, but we'll dive into that next episode. So be sure to stay subscribed so you don't miss out and follow me over there and we'll see you on the next episode. Thanks so much. See you in Silent Hill. Peace.